All right, welcome to the Tribe Digital Marketing Series. I'm joined today by LeadMD's Vice President of Sales, Bob Blount. Bob, thanks for joining. Hey, Josh, thanks for having me. I'm really glad that you're doing this series. Uh, so thanks. Yeah, it's my pleasure. So I know, you know you're a sales person like myself, but have a background in marketing as well, like myself. So super interesting to get your perspective on what you love about marketing. Yeah, you know, um, I think the, the thing I love the most about marketing is it's always changing. You always have an opportunity to maintain your relevance in the marketplace. And, uh, and, and that's the thing that just gets me going every day. Love it. So uh, always changing is an interesting pivot as we think about the current dynamic. And I've heard you use the term marketing in a crisis a couple times. What are some things that people should be thinking about now when their world is changing quite dramatically? They can't use events. They can't meet with prospects face to face. What are some things that they should be thinking about? Yeah, you know, um, I think the first thing that comes to mind for me is um, your position to help. You should be thinking about how your brand helps someone else uh, in a time of need. Because, you know, we're all trying to market to sellers and engage the buyers in the process. But let's face it, they're focused on a crisis in some form or another. And the last thing they want to do is hear from a salesperson trying to pitch a product. So if you really position yourself as I'm here to help, I want to help, um, what can we do together? Uh, it's the receiving of that is so much better. Have you seen any interesting examples of that in action? Yeah, you know, um, I, I look back at um, the Katrina uh, situation that happened and um, there was a group of um, tech execs in Austin, Texas that wanted to help and wanted to go down to the Gulf Coast and, and really roll their sleeves up. And so they brought their expertise in, in three fundamental areas. One was reverse logistics, hmm. which is critical in a crisis. The second one was a communications person, which obviously is critical in a crisis. Mm -hmm. And the third one was um, really the guy that basically knew how to do SWAT setups. Hmm. So, you know, emergency facilities and things like that. So these were three people that had very different walks of life, but they were friends and they bonded together and then they connected with the Red Cross and went into a community and did some amazing things for you know a sprint in a crisis. Yeah, I feel like that's a really interesting way. Obviously, you're activating your resources within the community, and that's a powerful message in itself, but I'm thinking about the activation that that allows you to do within your sales and marketing organization internally, right? Now you're showing leadership internally and you're saying, this is what we're going to do to, back, to activate our own internal resources. Now as a marketing team, as a sales team, you need to help spread the word, right? Yeah. And get this message out and show how we can help. So now your marketing message, message pivots and you're communicating a different way to people. Your salespeople who might be reluctant to pick up the phone and do their normal sales motions now have a talk track that's not about selling them something. It's more yeah. about building goodwill and setting themselves up as a position of expertise and a position of empathy so that you know, down the road when the market conditions do change, they'll, they'll, be, they'll have more people that they can make a call and connection to. Absolutely. I mean, you, you touched on a couple of things there, Josh, that I think are really important to call out. One is uh, what I characterize as timely relevant content. You know, one of the things brands should be asking themselves is, uh, have they adjusted their content since this crisis started? It's, it's super important because there are two ends of the spectrum on this topic. The first one is everybody's received the CEO letter right. saying, you know, we're here for you. We've done this, the goodwill ambassador thing. And that message and that time has passed, yeah. right? We're, we're well beyond that. And we're now into the motion of is the content that I have relevant for today? Because mm -hmm. let's face it, tomorrow, the next day, it's going to be different. And I don't think people realize that to quite this level in a crisis mode, everything changes every single day. Right. It gets worse, it gets better, it goes up, it goes down. Uh, is my message relevant? You know, are you meeting and talking about that relevant message for your brand every day? Have you adjusted your campaigns? Um, have you looked back and said, is this information helpful? And would it be relevant to the audience that I'm sending it to? Yeah. Yeah, it's taking that what you led with, which is marketing is constantly changing, which is what you love about it, but it puts that on steroids, right? It's constantly yeah. changing every 24 hours, like a 24-hour news cycle at this point. Yeah, and you pretty much have to make sure that every 24 hours you're asking yourself the question, am I adding value? Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, it's a really simple question. So, you know, the follow-on to that is um, a, a thing that I love, which is um, what should you stop doing right now? Mm -hmm. And what should you start doing right now? 
Yeah. If you're not asking yourself that every day, then you're missing the mark of opportunity to be relevant and you don't know what tomorrow brings. Yeah, I really like that because it starts with the leadership level, right? 